the most insane machines on Earth. Power beyond limits. Engines roar, steel screams, the ground trembles. This is not a movie, it's reality. Welcome to the world of the most insane machines ever built, where power meets precision and imagination dares to defy physics. They move mountains, they carve oceans, they lift entire cities from the ground. From mining giants with shovels the size of houses to tunnel borers slicing through bedrock like butter, these machines are the heartbeat of progress. They are the bridge between what humans dream and what humans build. Watch as the pistons fire, listen to the turbines howl, feel the vibration in your chest as tons of steel come alive. This is raw engineering, power beyond reason, purpose beyond strength. Take a moment and imagine standing next to the Liebherr T282B, a mining truck so large it could swallow your house whole. Or the PNH 4100 XPC shovel, its arms swinging with the force of a hurricane, lifting 100 tons in one smooth motion. Or the Bertha TBM, the tunnel boring beast, hundreds of feet long, digging through earth with the precision of a surgeon and the appetite of a god. These aren't machines built for comfort, they are born for dominance, created to do the impossible day after day. But here's the thing, behind all this power lies perfection. Because machines this massive don't run on chaos, they run on calculation. Thousands of sensors, algorithms, and components moving in flawless harmony. Every motion you see, every tremor you feel, it's not luck, it's mastery. It's the outcome of human genius, human courage, and human obsession with control over power. So before we dive deep into this mechanical kingdom, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell because what's coming next will change the way you look at engineering forever. These are not just machines. They are living monuments to human ambition. They don't just work, they perform. And the only limit they recognize is the one we dare to break. Power. It's not just about strength. It's about control. And nowhere is that balance more breathtaking than inside the world's most advanced machines. Think about it. Every colossal excavator, every roaring turbine, every steel-shattering press operates on the same law. Precision conquers chaos. Because raw force means nothing unless it's perfectly directed. Take the Caterpillar 6090FS, the largest hydraulic mining shovel on the planet. It weighs over a thousand tons, a moving fortress of pistons, hydraulics, and gears. Its bucket can lift a hundred tons in a single scoop, yet its movements are smoother than a pianist's hands. That's not brute power, that's calculated harmony. Or the Antonov, AN-225 Maria, a flying monument to human audacity. Six engines, 640 tons of steel. When it lifts off the ground, it doesn't defy gravity, it negotiates with it. Every bolt, every rivet, every rotation of its turbines is a mathematical conversation between air, weight, and thrust. Then there's the Bertha tunnel boring machine, carving through solid rock hundreds of feet underground. Its cutting head rotates with the force of an earthquake, but its sensors adjust the angle by fractions of a degree. That's the genius of modern engineering, taming violence with precision. When we watch these machines move, we're not just seeing motion, we're witnessing the poetry of physics. They embody humanity's greatest paradox, our hunger for power balanced by our need for control. Inside every machine is a battle, chaos pushing outward, intelligence holding it together. Hydraulic pressure builds, gears strain, friction threatens, and yet everything works in flawless unison. That's not luck, that's legacy, built by generations of engineers who turned theory into thunder. And that's why they're so mesmerizing. 
Because when you watch a 500-ton excavator swing with elegance, or a turbine spin faster than a storm, you're not just seeing a tool, you're seeing trust. Trust in numbers. Trust in design. Trust in the fact that human beings can build something so powerful, so dangerous, and yet make it move with grace. Machines like these are not monsters, they are mirrors. They reflect who we are, our courage, our curiosity, our craving to expand the limits of what's possible. True power isn't about domination, it's about discipline. It's about mastering the forces that once terrified us and shaping them into progress. That's the meaning of these machines. They don't just move mountains or lift steel, they move us. They remind us that the edge of possibility isn't a barrier, it's an invitation. Before the gears grind, before the pistons move, before the engines roar, there is silence. In that silence, someone dreams. Every machine on this planet, no matter how huge, how precise, how powerful, began as an idea in a human mind. A sketch on a napkin. A question written in the margins of a notebook. A moment of madness when someone said, what if we could build this? Because machines aren't born, they're imagined. Walk through any engineering lab or factory floor and you'll see it. People obsessed with perfection. An engineer tuning a turbine's balance until it hums in perfect pitch. A technician running simulations late into the night, eyes fixed on a screen filled with data that only they can translate into motion. A welder's sparks flying like fireflies on the dark, the rhythm of their work as steady as their heartbeat. These are not ordinary workers. They are craftsmen of precision. They don't just build, they believe. Every bolt they tighten, every wire they connect, every code they write carries a promise that when power meets purpose, something extraordinary will happen. And it does. But perfection doesn't come easy. Behind every smooth rotation and flawless weld is a trail of failure. Prototypes that broke, tests that burned, designs that fell apart. Progress has always been built on persistence. Machines don't learn from mistakes, people do. That's why the future still belongs to us. Every engineer, mechanic, and operator knows that feeling. Standing beside a machine they've built, hearing it come to life for the first time. That moment when silence turns to motion, when potential becomes reality, it's electric. It's the sound of creation. We call them machines, but they're really monuments to human ambition. Every one of them tells a story of people who refused to give up, who stared at the limits of physics and said, let's go further. They didn't build these titans for fame or comfort. They built them for understanding, for the thrill of discovery, for the chance to prove that imagination is stronger than gravity. Because in the end, machines don't dream of progress. People do. So when you watch these machines move, remember this. You're not just witnessing technology. You're witnessing humanity in motion. And through these machines, we continue to shout the oldest promise of all. There are no limits, only what we haven't built yet. Listen, do you hear it? The low growl of engines, the echo of gears turning in perfect rhythm, the heartbeat of creation itself. Every lever pull, every command issue, every algorithm written, it's the human spirit at work amplified through iron and electricity. Stand inside a shipyard at dawn. Watch cranes rise from the fog like giants preparing for battle. See the welders, sparks dancing around them like constellations, turning raw metal into the bones of a vessel that will cross the seas. They are declarations, 
proof that we refuse to stand still. Because true power is not about destruction. It's about creation. It's about the courage to say, we can do this, even when no one has done it before. When you watch a rocket lift into the sky, flame tearing through the clouds, you're seeing more than fuel and fire. You're seeing faith. Faith in physics, faith in teamwork, faith in the future. That's what makes these machines insane. Not their size or their speed or their noise, but the audacity behind them. They are the physical proof of humanity's refusal to surrender to limits. And yet, for all their power, they're fragile without us. Because a machine without purpose is just metal. It's the human mind that gives it meaning. It's the human heart that gives it direction. So what happens next, what we build next, depends on you. Don't just watch the world move, help it move. Sketch that design, study that system, build that prototype. Because every revolution, every breakthrough, every leap forward begins the same way, with someone who believes that steel can sing. Factories, fields, oceans, stars, they're all waiting. Waiting for the next engineer, the next dreamer, the next builder to take control of the controls. So before you go, hit like, subscribe, and share this with someone who still believes in the power of creation. Because we don't build for fame. We build to understand. We build to endure. We build because progress is the only language the future listens to. These machines may be made of bolts and gears, but their true material is hope. And when the noise fades, when the dust settles, when the final engine quiets to a hum, one truth will still echo louder than the roar of any machine. Machines don't build the future, people do.